The next Commodore wagon may not be the big family truckster that many of us grew up with, but the SUV boom has meant that not many of us are growing up with big Commodore wagons anyway. Large SUVs are the new family ideal, and Holden's just polishing off the development of the Acadia, which will be the brand's first proper large family SUV. Destined to sit alongside the off-road focused Trailblazer and above the new Equinox, the new seven-seater won't reach showrooms for another 12 months. But Holden gave us an inside look at this prototype model at the brand's Lang Lang Proving Ground in Victoria. Without the disguise, it'll look a lot like the GMC Acadia that's already on sale in the US, but with a unique Holden grille and badges. Holden worked pretty hard to get the Acadia here, and in fact Australia is the only right-hand drive market to get it. When it arrives, it'll go into battle with the seven-seat big players like the Mazda CX-9, Kia Sorento, Toyota Kluger, Hyundai Santa Fe and Nissan Pathfinder. Holden is yet to confirm local specs, but we expect a petrol V6 like in the US, with all other elements yet to be determined. Based on the dimensions of the US version though, it'll be a bit smaller in every way than the CX-9, but still around the current status quo for the segment. The reason we're at the proving ground today is that Holden's Australian engineers have given the Acadia a unique suspension tune. Rather than change any of the hardware though, the team has simply altered the calibration of the active dampers. Driven back to back with the US spec prototype, they've done a great job of reducing the barge-like feel of the GMC version. We wound it up to 150 km an hour on the high speed oval, and it felt taut and stable even though the surface has become quite bumpy with age. Practicality is arguably the most important element in a family SUV, and the Acadia seems to tick all of the big boxes, with plenty of room in the second and third rows, although the third row access is still easier from the right side because of its left-hand drive origins. We counted eight cup holders, four bottle holders, two isofix points, two third row top tether child seat mounts, and heaps of storage with the third row seat in the upright position. Without price, spec and any technical details, it's impossible to deliver a definitive verdict, but it is great that Holden's finally going to have a proper player in the family large SUV segment.